Now, in my time playing Rust over the years, there's one thing I enjoy doing more than anything else, especially as a solo player. I like to live on my own island. If I find a nice island to live on, I'll sell up my base there, and my goal will usually be to take over the island, raid all the bases on the island, make a few alliances, but today is a little bit different, because I'm not going to be living on a small island. I'm going to be living on a pretty big island with many, many bases, and one of those bases that lives on the island is these guys. One of the biggest clans on the server happen to be living on the island that I'm going to be living on, and they're not the only people living here. There's dozens of bases, duo players, trio players, and quite a few fellow solo players as well. I'll be alliancing with a few of them. So anyway, enough of my waffling on. This is six days of Rust content condensed down into one video. Let's dive right into this. Now today's Rust adventure starts off a little bit differently than usual. The footage you're seeing right now is not actually the footage from the Island Wipe, which this video is based on. I decided to join this server about two days before it was scheduled to wipe so that I could farm a few of the extra blueprints. Any type of eggs you can get as a solo player is well worth taking. So I'm going to quickly sum this up and show you guys how I farmed about 3,000 scrap in one day just to prepare myself for the fresh wipe and make sure that I'm ready. I didn't realize that there's only three days left before a uh, server wipe. Yeah, that's why we're gambling. Okay, before I leave, I'm going to cook some food up for these guys. They're having fun gambling. So hey, have some bear meat. Hey, let's go. Thanks, man. Yo, the waiter though. I'm starving yeah, to dude, death, man. Thank you, yo. What? Sorry. The waiter, yo, though. You, yo, you're actually, you're actually. Dude, no, no. dude this guy's actually. You got the little waiter in the oh casino. God. Hey, you know what? Don't, don't, don't mention it, boys. Don't mention it. Hey, I'm invited to the team. Thank you. Oh my god, dude. Oh, yo, Jordan, Rance. Jordan, Rance, bro. <laughs> Wait, I'll help you hunt. Guys. You can make a business for hey, selling hey, food. Hey. I mean the video. Is this gonna be in the video? Uh, sure, sure. I've been watching your videos for four years, bro. Really? I wanna be one Sonic, of I appreciate that, mate. There's no <laughs> dude, I didn't even know it was a YouTube rep. Later! Alright, let's cut to the chase then. This is a very hectic server that I'm playing on. It's got a relatively small map compared to the player population, so a lot of the major monuments can be quite contested. So I decided to build my base on the coastline close to a train station. This is gonna allow me to farm the tunnel a great source of scrap and late into the wipe there's not many people down there wait is this guy ordering food on the telephone what's your name bro? what's your name hey can you can you can you get me a cheeseburger as well please two uh two chicken burger one big <laughs> cola and what do you want okay. i just your cheeseburger just the cheeseburger for me mate um okay There we have it. I've researched everything that I want to research. In about four hours time, this server will completely wipe. Everybody will lose their bases, their items. But the one thing that won't be cleared is all of the items that I've unlocked right here. So on that note, I left the server and I waited for it to wipe. Bring on day number one. Let's get it. Okay, we've got six days to see what we can do. We're in the game. After joining a freshly wiped server, the first thing on my agenda is to get a bow. Player there. 300 wood, I'll take it. And another one right here. Hit him once. Hit him again. Dead. Nice first kill of the freaking day, boys. Oh! Enough loot for me to build a base. I need to heal up. Something tells me I'm going to die. Nice. Adios, amigo. All right, we're off to a great start. That guy might have a base. I don't think he does, actually. Oh, maybe he does. All right, I'm going to quickly go to the... Oh, there's a player coming back. I'm going to run a little bit. I do not want to die. As much as I would love to fight. He's gone up the hill. He probably sees me down at the bottom. And there's two of them. All right, stop that. We're going to keep moving, boys. I don't know where I'm going to live today. i got no idea, but player. Please, bro, have nothing, man. Please. I'm not going to kill you, man. 
I just got raided, bro, and I just got a start, man. If you if you follow me, I will kill you. That's the catch. Alright, my fault, bro, my fault. Help! Fast, bro, bro, help! They're still chasing me, man. I'm sorry, I can't help you. I'm literally running away from those guys. All right, it seems like I'm heading towards the bandit town, so I'm just gonna roll with that. And the bandit town is just down here. We've reached safety. Okay, let's figure out where we're gonna live today then. Oh, uh, where should I live? Where should I live? Now, whenever you're looking for a place to live on rust, you wanna make sure that you're living near some good monuments. And straight away, I noticed this area of the map right here. It has a sewer branch and abandoned cabins, the dome, and a water treatment plant. Plus, there's loads of rivers around this side of the map, so I won't be starving anytime time soon which is always a bonus let's head over there and find an exact base location uh there's a raided base right here with an unlocked tc early game free tier one workbench not complaining all right okay oh player to the right okay we've arrived in the area this is the island that i'm going to be living on and as you can see that is the clan that i'm going to be sharing it with their base isn't too big at the moment but it's only been about 12 hours since the server wiped so give them some time they, those guys live in, on the island basically so maybe if i can just go around this island a little bit and um, check out the other side of the island it might be less hectic i'm going to live on this side of the island away from the massive group that lives on the other side okay the base is going here i've decided right at the top of the hill Base is down. Tier 1 workbench is going down as well. Don't have to spend 50 scrap on that. We've got a solar panel. We have a large box. And by the end of this video, if everything goes to plan, this base is going to look awesome. I've researched a lot of stuff, including the auto turret, elevator, loads of cool electrical items that we can put in here. As you can see, we have a few neighbors right off the bat. And they're at the same level as me. They kind of just have little small bases. This dude's a solo guy, so that's pretty cool. And there's a few wooden bases as well. So this side of the island's pretty chill, but the other side, player there, with a spear. Really, man? Sorry, man. Alright, I'm, I'm being attacked. Thank you. And once. He's pretty good, this guy. I need to heal up. Let's go to the river and grab some stuff. There's the guy with the bow on the, on the hill. He see, I see him. I don't know if he sees me. I think the bow guy lives in that base by the water. We'll keep tabs on him. Check how big his base gets. I see a player right at the base now. Oh, lag. Server's lagging. I don't know what's going on. Got him. Oh, what? That's a lot of wood, man. That's not the guy with the bow, though. All right, li little steps at a time today, everybody. We're just going to leave the base, get a few primitive kills, slowly accumulate loot. Here's my base. Okay, let's grab my building plan and my hammer. Let's go ahead and let's add a little airlock right there. I'm going to craft two keys, one for the door and one for the TC, and then let's head straight back out and try and get some more kills. Right, we need some metal. Oh, there's a cave. And there's a player over here running away from me. Keep your zigzagging going, man. Made it back to base. Crafting a double sheet metal door now. Boom. Oh, crap. There's two geared players outside my base. With jackhammers. Sorry, I got a door down. A sheet metal door. And I'm about to have a second sheet metal door, so... Okay, second sheet metal door's down. Whew. Let's get out of here. Hold on one second, guys. I hate to stop the flow of the video, but I forgot to press start recording. Something that I never usually forget to do, but for some reason right here, I forgot to hit the start recording button. So let me just explain what happened. I left my base and I started attacking this Russian dude. Then I realized he was probably new to the game. And so I've decided to ally with him. Meet our first alliance. Of course, it's a Russian. And he seems pretty cool. And he's solo, which is the main thing. I'm not recording. Oh, I'm recording now. Sorry for killing you, man. Привет, мой друг, спасибо. Привет тебе, человек. Do you speak English? Yeah. Very, very bad speak English. Where do you live? I, are you solo? Are you solo player? Yeah, I'm solo. Okay, you want to you you want to make team? Friendly island, friendly. Okay. Friendly, okay. Spasiba. Spasiba. Okay. 
We've made our first alliance, which is always a good thing. Usually, I'll only alliance with fellow solo players, so I'm happy to have this Russian on the team. Seems like he's new to the game. Let's do some base upgrading and then head straight back out. Voila. Oh, yes. Bye-bye. I'll take the loot. I'm not going to ally with this guy. See you later. The guy I just killed is behind me, chasing me. He must live in a base over that side of the island. Get wrecked, boy. Get wrecked. Oh, he hit me. Good shot, mate. I'm going to get back into my base, though, in just a moment. We made it. Woo! Nice. He's outside. I don't know if he saw me go inside the base, so I'm just going to stay here quietly. Better safe than sorry. I'd rather not be a raid target at this point in time. A few moments later. All right, we're good, I think. I've grabbed some stone. I'm going to do a bit more base upgrading. Boom, there's some honeycombing done. Now let's quickly open up the map a second and show you guys what's going on. So I've built my base right here. The massive clan lives over here. So far, so good. We don't really know any other bases at the moment. There is one Russian guy living on the river who we killed earlier. But other than that, we've not really spotted any other bases yet. But that's going to change right now because there's a trio living on the island. And I'm about to go and say hello. There's a player inside this base. Yeah, close your door, mate. There's two of them. Or oh, three of them. Oh, three guys living pretty close. These guys live on the other side of the island, so they're not going to be a huge problem for us. But it's just worth noting that they live there. Chances are they're probably going to have a pretty big base by the end of today. If they don't, then maybe that's a potential raid target for us. Oh, man. Got him. I'll take the extra bow that I lost. Oh, we got AKs in the area. Um, I'm going to go in the opposite direction for now. Now, one of my first priorities whenever I build a base on Rust, it's always to get that tier 2 workbench so I can craft garage doors. Garage doors are so much better than sheet metal doors. They're essentially double the cost when it comes to raiding. So it's always on the top of my list of things I need to do. Long story short, there's a train station on the mainland pretty close to the island. So I'm going to swim over there and do a little tunnel run, get myself some scrap and start working towards getting that tier 2 workbench. Okay, I don't think there's any scientists down here. Somebody's down here. There's a dead body over there. Somebody's been down here recently. Dead scientist. Oh, I just managed to escape as a train was passing through. I see a player farming. Bucket helmet, dude. I'm going to try and kill him. Screw it. Maybe not. I know his friend's coming, though. I can hear him. And he's shooting at me. Two of them with bows. I bet it's those guys that live in the base before where I died. The trio. It's very important we get the tier 2 workbench. Okay. We now have 71 scrap. Right, the next clip you're about to see, I was debating putting this in the video or not because it doesn't end well for me, but I make a pretty good play, so I'm going to keep it in the video. This guy with the rifle was honestly terrible. Unlucky for me, this guy had a freaking friend. Solo life, it's rough sometimes. Anyway, back down into the tunnels for a little bit more scrap farming. Made it back with a second tunnel loot. 63 scrap. If I can just get to a recycler right now, that would be great. Do I risk it and go to the lighthouse? Ah, screw it. Green key card while I'm here. Let's go. Quick time. Oh, 
cycling complete. Let's get the hell out of here. That now puts us at 257 scrap. I'm gonna go back to the lighthouse just to recycle a few extra items. All right, just did another recycle and got 140 scrap. All we need now is 100 more and we can get garage doors down. Okay, let me go out and do the final stretch here and get that final 100 scrap then. I think there's players here at the lighthouse this time. Maybe I won't kill this guy. Shall we say hello? Hello, Tom. Whoa. Holy crap. Calm down. What are you doing? Tom. That was going to be nice. All right, let's recycle. Third time we've been here. If this gives us 100 scrap, then we'll be good to go. Grab the scrap. We've got 513. Grab the high qual. Tier 2 workbench is being crafted. And there we have it. Couple tunnel runs, and we can now secure the base with garage doors. Boom. And so that concludes day number one of our wipe. We've managed to secure a spot of land on this island, get the tier 2 workbench down, craft garage doors. I'm pretty confident that we'll survive the night. Because it's only been one day since the server wiped, it's a pretty low chance that we'll get raided tonight. So bring on day number two. I've got some big plans tomorrow in terms of the base upgrading. I'm gonna add loads of cool stuff to the base. All right, everybody, I've just been to sleep and we're logging back in for day two. If we've not been raided, then we're going to be doing some raiding today. That is for sure. Oh, we've not been raided. All right, one of the first things we're going to do today is we're going to see if any new bases have appeared. And yes, right off the bat, there is a new base, but it's only a wooden one by one solo guy. Literally a one by one. Oh, there isn't a new base that's appeared down there. But I don't know. It doesn't seem too bad. It doesn't seem like there's been too many new arrivals. I'm going to go around the island and farm and um, get as much sulfur as I can. Cue the farming montage. Player farming over here. Say hello to this guy. Unfortunately, I can't pronounce his name because I don't speak Russian. This man is going to become a legend in today's video. For now, though, he's just another victim to my bow. Well, he didn't have a lot of stuff on him. You do tend to get a lot of Russians that play at this time. Um, play a farming wood here in a fresh twig base that he probably lives in. I'll take that. Give me the extra bow as well. This guy wants to live pretty close to me. And he seems like he might know what he's doing. Because he actually fought back. <laughs> That's my excuse for destroying his base. This is probably a sleeping bag right here. Or not. He was going to build a base literally right next to me. The Jack of No Trades was his name. I'm being pretty brutal. If somebody wants to live that close, it's a no-go. Unless they're like really new to the game. Otherwise, nah. Brutal mode, boys. We're just a solo... Oh, I just found this base and it's been raided and the freaking Russian that I allied with yesterday. Oh, oh, I'm sorry that you got raided, man. Uh, the stone is not decaying though, actually, which is interesting. I might bring a fi some fire arrows and just get through the TC, um, see if there's anything inside. Sorry, you got raided. My Russian friend, the one alliance I've made. There's a player farm in here with a rock. I'm gonna kill him anyway. What's his name? Ah, Russian guy. Player in the forest there. Got you. It's the same dude. It's very persistent on living in this area. Is this the Russian again? Sorry, man. It is. Every time he tries to farm around my base, I'm sorry. It's gonna be the same story. Arrow to the head. Right, I'm crafting some fire arrows now. Let's go and see what's inside my neighbor's tool cupboard. Okay, there's another player that's uh, moved in the area, this dude. Okay, here's the base with the tool cupboard inside. Wait, what? Wait, what? 
Why is that turned on? Somebody turned it on. Okay, that's creepy. All right, let's get through the TC. Oh, he's probably coming now. Whatever it was. Oh my God, you almost have yoked me to death. Freaking hell. Right here, we find ourselves in the presence of a freaking Ioka boy. A lot of decent Rust players, the first thing they'll do when they join a server is they'll get an Ioka and they'll try and make a play. And it's a good idea, but I definitely don't want to be on the receiving end of it. So I'm going to be killing this guy at all costs. Get out of here. I, I literally, I thought I was dead there. Boom. Oh, yes. Not bad at all. I'm going to go back to the base and put a door on and a, and a lock on the base. Uh, I'll, I'll make a key and put it on his body in case he logs in and wants to take back the base. Don't forget this Ayoka guy could be sitting in this base waiting for me. Yo, why did you kill me, bro? Nothing. I just respawned, bro. I'm not going to fall for that, man. As soon as I get close to that guy, he's going to try and Ayoka me. Okay, create key. There we go. I'm going to put a key on his body. Boom. Give me that loot. It's the freaking Ayoka guy again. Oh, he lives. Somebody lives in that base. Oh, it's the Russian. Sorry, man. That's that pirate hang guy. Bro, it's me again. I have nothing. I have nothing, bro. I just spawned. Ah, I just spawned. Dude has an Ioka in his hand. Told you guys, never fall for this. They will Ioka you the first chance they get. He's one of those guys. Two players hitting a tree here. These guys have all got a Yokers out here. God damn. Cut them all. So many of them have got a Yokers. Get wrecked. If these guys continue to be around my base, I'm sorry, but I'm going to keep killing them because there's three of them and they're really not the type of players I want to live near. So I need to find their sleeping bags and destroy them. These could be the sleeping bags right here. There's three of them. I'm going to destroy them anyway. I'm going to be that guy. Can you please not kill me? Hello? Hopefully that's the last we see of those guys. Maybe they'll get the message and uh, get out of here. All right, enough killing guys with the yokers. I need to do a little bit of farming because one of the goals of today is to do some base upgrading and make this base cool. So I grabbed the pickaxe right here and I headed out uh, to do some farming. But I ran into a player pretty much straight away. And thanks to those yoker guys, I was able to warm up my bow skills a little bit and uh, make a little play. DB and the and the freaking jackhammer, you just got destroyed. Oh, his revolver broke while he was uh, shooting at me. <laughs> I guarantee he's one of the guys that lives in the uh, bigger base that we saw yesterday with the three dudes. Um, but yeah, I just got a jackhammer. It's only it's half HP, but I'll take it. <laughs> oh, that headshot! And obviously, I got a DB as well. Sweet. You guys remember that Russian who I keep killing over and over again today? Well, he was farming wood again. He's a very persistent player, and I think he's quite new to the game. I mean, his base doesn't look anything special. So let's go say hello and maybe add another alliance to the team. He's a solo guy. I, I, if I, I'll kill him and call it a day. Sorry, man. Oh, he's a solo guy, man. I, I, I kind of like, I'm going to help him up. He's very persistent, this dude, and he's not really a threat, and he just seems like a nice, friendly solo guy. Well, not friendly, but he's a solo guy. I've invited him to the team. <laughs> Here you go. Take your wood back. Boom. 
Not a single word was spoken between me and the Russian right here, but there's an understanding. I've invited him to the team and I've given him some of his loot back. A simple act of kindness and maybe a crouch is all that's needed to create an alliance with a player. You don't need to say a word. So just like that, I've added another Russian to the team. I'm going to be friendly to this guy and let him live by the river and do his thing. He just seems like he's a solo guy like me, so why not, you know? I like how I didn't even say anything to this guy. I helped him up, and that's all that it needs to be said, you know? There's an understanding now. Oh, he needs to be careful. Pig just killed him. I'm very picky about who I invite. They have to be solo, and they have to be, like, pretty chill. As in, not very good. <laughs> Okay, um, I'm about to do some base upgrading, everybody, and I'm about to add a shop to my base. I'm going to use the music box skin because that looks freaking awesome. I'm going to craft a shop. I'm going to start selling stuff soon. Probably not yet. I'd need to, I need to accumulate more components first. just finished the honeycombing i've upgraded part of the base to metal and i've added a few extra floors so we've got this top floor right here meet water similarly to the russian that i've just allianced with water's pretty new to the game as well so i'm gonna go ahead and add another guy to the alliance but i'm not gonna say a single word Hello, mate. How you doing? Sorry to disturb you. I've been acting like a wild man. Sleeping like a child. You're so luminous and vibrant. I'm always in. All right, so after adding an extra alliance to the team, I did a little bit of base upgrading, but I'm not quite finished with the base just yet. There's one more thing that I really want to add to the base before the end of today. That is, of course, an elevator. Not many people bother using elevators on vanilla servers, but I'm one of the people that actually thinks they're really cool, and I always like to put them in my base. So I went on a quick diving mission underneath the ocean to get some components. After that, I got back to base and started to electrify the base. Add the batteries, the solar panels, and all that good stuff. Elevators are being crafted. Okay, I've just placed elevators in the base. Uh, let's give you guys a little base tour and show you what's going on. As you go through this door here, this is the entrance. And right here, we have an elevator. I like them, and I, I think they're pretty cool. So I've added this elevator right here. And if we take this up to the top, this takes us up right here to this door. And then go through this door. And now we're in the top floor, basically. I've got windows all around here where we can shoot out if we need to. I've got my electrical room right here. We've got a fridge here with loads of food in. All right, let's go further down into the base. Go down here. And this takes you into this little section here. This door right here leads to a furnace room. Let's go down. And we've got a little shop front right there. We can see outside. After we open these doors right here, we've got two choices. We can go left or right. If we go left, that takes you to my main loot section. And if we go right, that takes you to my vending machine shop. Follow me through these garage doors. I have a lot of garage doors. One, two, three, four, five garage doors to my main loot room with my tool cupboard and stuff like that. And so that concludes day number two. I know that we did plan to raid today, but I spent a large portion of the day base upgrading, but now the base is pretty much complete. There's a few more things I'm going to do to it over time, but for now, it's 
pretty secure. And with that, we can now focus our attention on raiding. Bring on day number three, the day of raids. All right, let's talk about day number three. I logged in the game, and the first thing I noticed when I opened my map was this shop right here. Somebody had built a shop really close to my shop. Now, before I went over to check out this shop with my own two eyes, I quickly farmed up loads of wood with my chainsaw and then stocked up all my furnaces with sulfur and began smelting. And by this time, the shop had actually been activated. So these guys were active at this very moment in time. They had literally only just about set up this shop as I logged in the game. So I went over there to check it out. I'm going to quickly go and have a look at it right now. We've got some competition. It's only selling crossbows and stuff, but unacceptable. Check it out. Here it is. Uh, it's just a little two by one. I kind of want to raid the owner of the shop though. And he lives in one of these bases. So this is going to be one of our raid targets is going to be one of these guys around here. I don't know who. Maybe, maybe this base is right next to the shop. Could be worth it. Oh, he's online. Yeah, that dude's online. He must be the shop owner. I'm going to craft a rifle in a second so that I can start shooting people and stuff. So this is a newly built base. It's appeared overnight. The person that owns the base owns a shop as well, or at least that's what I think. The shop's right next to his base, so I'd assume it's his. I don't know how many people live in this base, but they're online, and I want to do an online raid to kick things off. It's risky, but we're going to give it a go. I'm just going to craft a bunch of satchel charges and go for it. Okay, I've crafted some satchels. I'm going to go and investigate. I'm going to take some ladders with me. Get out of here, Bowman. You're doing shooting at me. Okay, I'm going to ladder up the base to kind of get an idea of what's inside and what the base design is. This could be an easy raid. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to raid this base. Okay, I'm being shot. You looted all my prims. You oh, check out this. Oh. Oh. Decayed base with some loot. I'm just going to quickly get through the tool cupboard of that decayed base and see if there's anything inside. Boom. Let's see what's inside. Oh, I'll take it. Okay, let's grab the computer station. Awesome. All right, everybody, I'm ready for this. I've got 14 satchels right here. It's going to be an online raid. I don't know how many people are living in the base, but we're just going to go for it. I've got everything we need right here. Let's do this. I was being door camped. This guy almost got all my satchels. You absolute loser. My heart is racing after that. This dude almost got all the satchels and everything. And my gun and everything. Oh my god. Mate, what? I want to know where he lives. Okay, his AK shot's over there. I got to be careful. Okay, sod it. We're just going to we're going to do our raid. I will find out where that guy lives so you freaking door camper. Screw you. Okay, let's just go. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Ah. Uh. Well, it's safe to say I did not expect that. These guys have got AKs in their base. There's a door at the top of the base. He opened it up, peeked down, and got some headshots on me. There was pretty much nothing I could have done. Doing online raids in general, the person being raided always has an advantage. It's much easier to defend an online raid than it is to do an online raid. And if you're a solo player trying to do an online raid, then it's even harder. But it's not over yet. I'll be returning to these guys very soon. And also, just a little side note, but I was curious about this guy guy. So I checked his Steam profile. Sometimes I do it just to check. This guy has one VAC ban on record and he also has people 
commenting on his profile saying that he's a hacker. Whether he's hacked in Rust, I don't know, but it's just worth noting. I'm not giving up on this raid just yet. Now, after respawning back in my base, I grabbed a gun and I went straight back to the raid to scout it out. Turns out there's three of them living in this base and they're all online now. I killed a few of them while they were outside the base, but interestingly enough, they never left the base geared. The guy with the AK would sit on the roof, but they would never leave the base with guns, only bows and crossbows and stuff. Now, we're going to have to wait a little bit before we can go back and try and raid these guys again because I've got to smelt sulfur again. So in the meantime, I'm going to roam the island a little bit. Two players over there. One down. I don't think they had anything. Oh no, not bad. Okay, made it back to base with some farm. Um, I just picked up a tier one workbench, so I'm gonna sell it in my shop. I'm just gonna sell it for a thousand wood. The name of the shop is gonna be Cheap Essentials. There you go, Cheap Essentials. You can get yourself a tier one workbench for a thousand wood. I've now got a computer station. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place CCTV cameras outside of my base, and then I'll be able to see exactly what's going on outside. Let's place our computer station right there. And let's grab some CCTV cameras. Camera number one is down. We'll place another camera in a sec after I've killed this dude farming wood over here. Come on, dude. I'm just trying to farm. Okay. Take my stuff. Take my stuff, but please revive me. Oh, he's got a compound bow. I'm all alone. Sorry, man. Camera number two. Boom. Okay, I've just placed two cameras outside my base, and that will prevent door campers being sneaky buggers. Check this out. There we go. I can now see if there's any door campers waiting at my door, and there's another camera placed right there as well. We can check out the oil rig. Looks like the oil rig's been looted. Computer stations are pretty awesome. I need to grab my gun. This player's outside. Okay. I just want to let you know that we're going to raid you today. <laughs> you guys heard what this guy just said. I just want to let you know that we're going to raid you today. Classic, classic. Most of the time, if somebody says this, especially if they're freaking naked, they're probably not going to raid you. So don't worry about it. But allow me to introduce you to Fruit Ninja. You're going to be seeing this guy from time to time today. He lives on the island. I don't know exactly where yet, but this is Fruit Ninja. He's going to raid me. Very nice. We've got all these keys. Classic. Hello. You can be getting raided. Maximus. I hope you've enjoyed farming for us. This is so funny. I hope you enjoyed farming for us, buddy. For now, we'll be leaving Fruit Ninja to do his thing. If I find where he lives, then of course he's going to be a raid target. But at this moment in time, my raid goal remains the same. These guys. We've still got a little bit more sulfur to smelt before we're ready to go back and try and raid them. So whilst we're waiting for that, I went around the island a little bit and I met these Korean players. Oh no. He actually had a decent amount of loot. I think it's safe to say these guys are new at the game. I think I owe, I owe a duty to befriend them. I'm going to leave these guys to it for now. They don't seem to want to speak. Every time I try and speak to them, they're not saying anything. So, right, let's head back to base. The furnaces should be ready by now. Whoa, somebody's ladded up all the way to the top of my base. I see you. I see you, you little... That's funny. Got you, you door camping scum. There he is. That's the boy that wants to raid me. Sits outside the top of my base with a double barrel. Classy, mate. Thanks for the free ladders. All right, so it's almost time to go back to the base and raid these guys. But as you can see right here, they've upgraded their base quite a bit since earlier. So it's going to be a little bit more tricky to do this. They're all online and they've all got guns now. And there's only one of me and there's three of them. So I decided... 
because this is an online raid, to invite two of my friends to come and help me with this. They happen to be playing on the same server as me. We tend to play on similar servers because occasionally we play Rust together. They're my friends. And that is, of course, Blizzard and LTK, who a lot of you, if you've watched my videos for a while, you'll know both of them. They both stream on Twitch. Blizzard is a freaking Rust chad. And L is crazy. I got the perfect two people for the job. So they were both streaming on this server at the time. I called them on Discord and asked them if they wanted to come and help me with an online raid. How you doing, guys? Ah, uh, speak of the <laughs> devil. Oh, wait. Are you speaking about me? Do, do you guys want to help yeah, me with... Yeah, we're talking um... about little freaks. No, I'm joking. <laughs> How are you? Uh, good. I tried to do an online raid before um, and just got slaughtered by, by them. Um, I'm going for round two. I'll come help you. There's two of them. Oh, One of them's got a back ban on record and an AK, so you got to be careful of him. <laughs> so, mm. yeah. We're just in the tunnels. Mm. Can can you wait Seems till we leave the tunnels? We've got. I've got to wait a little bit. Yeah. All right. So L and Blizzard have agreed to come and help me with the raid. Now they're currently in the tunnels farming scrap, so I'm gonna have to wait a little bit for them to get out of the tunnels and then make their way to my base. So in the meantime, I'm gonna be productive and I'm gonna do a bit more farming. After farming the cave and getting a couple of sulfur nodes, I headed back to base. But on my way there, I saw a player suspiciously hanging around my Korean friend's base. So I checked it out. Oh, I just slot. I just slotted this dude. Oh my god. Get slaughtered. Oh, he, had to, he was going to raid them. He had explo ammo. He's probably from the clan. He was going to raid my Korean friends. Screw you. Now I'm ready to go. All I got to do is wait for L and Blizzard to make their way over to my base. And we're ready to do this. Can you send me your base? Because I'm lost. We're at the river. We're at the river. Oh, I see it. Yes. Thank you, guys. Welcome. Good for you to join oh, me today. Looking very schnazzy. Yeah, come in. Mm -hmm. There's a guy farming. <laughs> I, uh, I, hear the <laughs> fucking, I hear the <laughs> fucking, um, the elevator. But don't okay. you have any allies? <laughs> yeah, I do, but they're in the team. Let me invite you. Wait, you have another player. Why aren't you asking them to help you? Because they literally have 10 hours in the game. Putting some <laughs> food in your fridge. Thank you. Uh, can I have a, a gun? Oh, sweet. Yeah, uh, do you, need, you obviously need ammo as well. There's some ammo in there. I'll need more fire five too. I've got TC. I've got everything we freaking need, basically. Let's go for it. Let's freaking go, man. Have you got everything you want? Bullets, everything? Yeah. L, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Jesus! You see that doorway at the top there, yeah? Southeast. He's going to peek out of there with a Tommy. So, Blizzard, you keep an eye on that. Oh, this is a peek down. Okay, that's fine. I thought you meant actual peek downs. It does have actual peek downs inside. Oh, in the core. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, ladder up. Save your ladder to get out. As soon as we laddered into the base, they knew straight away that we were going to raid them. And they started to upgrade the inner core of the base to armored. Hey, let's just go. Because I know they've only got sheet metal doors. Right, watch out for the explosions, everyone. Watch out. All good. Okay, this is where the peak downs are. You see, they've upgraded it to armor, but there's only four doors to get in. And I have enough satchels to get through, like, three doors, maybe. Oh, my God. Oh, it's your friend. I just shot your friend in the head. My Russian friend, who I've never actually spoken to in voice chat, decided to come over. He actually climbed over the ladders that we placed and just invited himself to this raid. So we're just going to go with it. If he wants to be part of this raid, he can be. Make sure they don't put another door down. Four of you offlining somebody. Do you guys recognize that voice? Yep, that's Fruit Ninja, the guy who threatened to raid me earlier. He seems to think that we're doing an offline raid right here when we're not. And what's really funny is the owner of the base thinks that Fruit Ninja is the guy raiding him. And Fruit Ninja and the owner of the base start arguing. Pretty nice. pathetic. Nice. Cool. Pretty pathetic. Six yeah. people. Six get people. Get yeah, get quack <laughs> in there. <laughs> you, you stupid quack. <laughs> Just be careful. Careful because the dude keeps trying to pop his head up where the jump up is. Killed him. Just be careful of the drop downs here, guys. Well, just, just care of like someone trying to lob shit down, you know? I'm in. 
Okay, cool. Get in here, Jordan. Uh, I'm in. Let's go. One try to do the peek downs. They're trying to throw nades down. Yeah, yeah. I, I got these <laughs> killed by nade. He got naded. Headshot him. Oh, uh, you keep an eye on that. Are you coming back, Blizzard? What is my neighbor doing right here? Straight away, he's trying to take Blizzard's loot. <laughs> but there was a very important sound, and some of you guys might have missed that. So I'm going to replay it again. See, the reason I said that this Russian was a legend is because he's just accidentally done something pretty amazing. Listen to this clip one more time and see if you can hear what he's done. Oh, uh, you keep an eye on that. Are you coming back, Blizzard? I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come inside right now on the ladder. Oh, the stash is in here full of... Uh... We're so full of uh, sulfur. Really? Yeah, yeah. Have you looted it all, Bliss? No, 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 no. I, I'm, I'm, I'm like healing myself, prioritizing myself. Oh my god, it's full of sulfur. I know, I know. That's what I'm saying. It turns out that these guys have all of their sulfur stashed away in this part of the base. And my freaking Russian neighbor accidentally opened one of the stashes whilst trying to loot Blizzard's body because Blizzard died on top of one of the stashes. Now, this is not the only stash in here. We're going to find a few more in just a moment, but this is pretty mental. We need to... I need to get this back to base, Sal. Yeah, yeah, get it back to base. Yeah, boost me out. Go, 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 go. You keep an eye on that, guy. He's, he's, he's griefed himself, by the way. They placed the wall. Yeah, yeah. Now, it turns out that these guys actually griefed their base. You're going to get to see it in just a moment, but it's one of the lowest things you can do if you're being online raided, is create a wall and lock yourself inside the base. This is exactly what these guys have done, but... Lucky for us, it doesn't freaking matter because all of their sulfur and main loot is stored in stashes. Time Jordan, comes back. can you please bring another ladder so we can get out nice and easy? Sure, can do. Thank you. I'm coming straight back. I'm about five seconds away. He's at the top of the base. He might peek you. Oh. You're like on the actual okay. roof roof. Tell me when you're at the, at the ladder, Jordan. I'm almost there. The ladder outside still I'm there, yeah? I'm the ladder first. I, I'm at the ladder now. Oh, there's a grub here. Oh, shit. He, he, Is that he, you laddering up? Gun and sealed. Oh, that's you, Jordan. Oh, God. Got the grub. He, he like, came you, down Al? naked and... I'm inside now. Just just ladder L out and leave, honestly. There's nothing really we can do. I just want to make sure they don't destroy the wall that they've griefed. Um, L, well, they're going to just some... destroy it with jackhammers. It's just a weak side metal. It's not that big of a deal. You missed a bunch Doesn't of matter. sulfur. I've got a bunch yeah. of sulfur. I need to get out. I, I literally just got was. like a row of sulfur in a stash nice, that was nice. still there. Beautiful. Right, take it back to my base. Nice. If we got all that sulfur, then that's freaking sorted. Done. Easy. We got over, we, we got over 10,000 sulfur. There's about, uh, what have I got? I've got one, two, three, 3,000 uncooked and then almost 2K cooked. Bro, that's insane. I'll come and let you in the base. Thank you. Because I got 6,000, so that's 5,000 in total. Very, very profitable. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Very nice. So I got 6,000, so that's 5,000 in total. <laughs> like 11,000 in total. Hey, that's pretty good. Are you, are you coming to good. let me in? <laughs> yeah, I'm coming to let you in. I am, I am on my way. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. This is... <laughs> I knew this I would be entertaining. Jordan is the most stressful experience on No, but I think I Jordan it. makes it stressful when he's like <laughs> stressing about crafting medical syringes and Come in, come in. <gasps> oh my god, you oh my god, yes, I ran so quick. Yo, let's go straight back. Let's go straight back once you've depoted. Yeah, yeah, I Find a box to deposit it in. Uh-huh. Can uh -huh. you get another ladder then so I can get out? I've got an extra ladder with me, please. I'll bring it now. Why is the other one gone? That All place right. for L. No, I'm in the other section. Okay, you are in the other section. I uh, roger that. Yes. Roger that. There, there's two halves of the of the outside wall. I'm in the other half. Okay, there's two it's halves fair. of the outside wall. Okay, I understand. I understand. Okay, great. <laughs> Sorry, it's so hectic. I haven't played Rust in a while, so I'm, I'm a little bit rusty. Okay, and plus, oh, you've been uh -huh. playing for 16 hours. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Just let him have the excuse, it's fine. Hey, we're just trying to raid at the moment, mate. I love you. Privyet, moi drug, spasiba. Russia for life. Oh my god. He's Once you get up the ladder, you'll see me. Oh, here, I see here, here. oh, I'm wounded at the bottom. Uh, get you pressed. Kill the AK guy. Oh, Wait. you little shit. Get, get back here. Go, 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 go. Help me loot it. Yeah, Sing yeah. Here. Just... Oh my okay. god. 
I've run out of ammo. I've got an AK on my body. Just loot everything and let's go. Yeah, yeah. There's, an, there's a grab in here. Grab in here. Turn around. Turn around. Jordan, kill him. Now, after a very hectic but successful raid, the raid was complete. Massive thank you to Blizzard and L for helping me out with this raid. On top of the 11,000 sulfur that we found in stashes, we also managed to get 1,000 gunpowder, 600 low grade, and a tier 3 workbench. I have no idea why this guy had all this loot on his body. My assumption is that these guys were planning on leaving with all this loot. They were abandoning the base and then we came back and killed them at the perfect moment and managed to get all this. So we pretty much completely wiped these guys off the face of the island. They are gone. All right. Thank you for the help. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Look at that tier three workbench. That's the thing I'm most happy about to be fair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand sulfur from that raid. All right, so after completing the raid, L and Blizzard logged out inside my base. They decided to change to a different server. The server was a little bit laggy and they were getting really annoyed at it, so they switched server, which is fair enough. I decided to do some base upgrading. There was a few vulnerable patches around the side of my base, so I did some extra honeycombing just to make sure that those were fixed. Okay, well, from that raid, I have a lot of gunpowder, right? I've got 2,500 gunpowder out of here and i've also got a load of sulfur there tier three workbench is down all right awesome stuff now that we've got loads of sulfur and gunpowder we're pretty much ready to do another raid right away i really want to find out where this guy called fruit ninja lives the dude that threatened to raid me i went around the island a bit and scouted a few of the bases out my intuition was telling me that it might be a base close to lighthouse because every time this guy died he seemed to run from this general direction and there was a few bases over there let's scout them out and maybe raid one of them and for some reason i feel like it might live in this base i'm just gonna see if fruit lifts there and it would be absolutely amazing if i could find his base show him a little good old karma i've got 11 satchels and we're gonna go and do this i have the building material okay i'm gonna guess the loot room is right here i might i could be wrong but let's go oh somebody's just uh throwing airdrop that must be the clan that lives over there oh my god please hurry up explosions please Come on. Two more and we're in. One. Two. We're in. It's all open. We have to get through TC though. There's a player. TC's broke. We're safe. We're in the base. Okay, there's a tier two workbench in here. There's loads of key cards. Some decent components. Loads of hazmat suits, loads of primitive like bow stuff. And the guy that lives here is called Shush. I'm gonna throw away all the primitive bows and stuff. I don't need that anymore. What I do need is to see what's in the TC. Boom. Ah, uh, not too bad, not too bad. 50 high qual is pretty good. I need high qual, so that's not too bad. We'll take it. Crafting a tool cupboard now. All the components are nice, to be honest. Let's grab the tier two. We'll sell that in our shop later. These guys had double barrels. And they were sat outside. Whoa. Oh my god, let's be careful. I'm just going to wait. I don't know what's going on. We'll get home in a minute, but we're going to do it safely. Another successful raid in the back. This time, I did it solo. I managed to get back to base without being double-barreled in the face, which is always good. Unfortunately, we've still not found where Fruit Ninja lives, but we're bound to find him at some point. There's only a certain amount of places you can hide on an island. I've got two tier two workbenches spare. We'll just sell them for 3,000 sulfur. There we go. The shop is up. Workbench tier two, selling two of them for 3,000 sulfur each. There's a new base that's appeared with a player on top of it just over there on the other island. I see him and I think he's got a hazmat. That base was not there literally about 10 minutes ago. But looks like we got some new people in the area, boys. And they're shooting at me. 
and they can't shoot. This is the smaller island just above the island I'm living on, and there's not many people living on it, so let's go and check it out. Killed them both. What? What was that? He was probably using Buckshot. Either way, I know there's at least three people living inside this small base. And they're all wearing road sign armor. We're gonna raid this. I'm putting them on the list. Oh! There's a drone outside. Somebody's just bought my tier 2 workbench. 3,000 sulfur, thank you very much. Okay, I'm logging out for the night. Locking up the base. Stored all my sulfur in the main bit here. Pray and hope that we wake up tomorrow and we are alive. It's time for day number four. I logged on and I hadn't been raided. The goal for day four is to do a rocket raid. I'm going to try and do a rocket raid on the base that I scouted out yesterday. Another one of my goals is to build a compound. This will allow me to place large furnaces and oil refineries outside my base, which will make it a lot easier to smelt sulfur and get low grade. So bring on day four. Let's get into this. There we have it. I have just built a compound around my base. I have two large furnaces and one oil refinery. I'll show you what it looks like from the outside. I feel like I'm a proper rust player now. Okay, here it is. And boom. There's our nice little compound. To think of where we started off, we have this. <laughs> Now, just as I was enjoying the privacy of my own compound, I was met with a rather surprising bang. What the hell was that? Am I getting raided or I'm going to prepare for that? This guy tried to blow through my gate and then just left. I'm guessing he was using um, incendiary rockets. Whew. Okay, well, I'm not being raided for now, I don't think. I think he just wanted my furnace loot, maybe. Just when I thought I was in the clear, he came back. This time with his friend. I've got no idea what these guys are doing and what their intention is, because I don't think they're going to raid me. I just think they want to break through my walls for some reason. Oh, okay. Something's happening here. Oh, what is going on? He's in the forest and he's waiting for me to peek because he wants me to he wants to get me on a bag timer, I think. He started destroying this wall. Hecticness, man outside my pace right now. Oh, they're flame raiding now instead of rocket. Crafting loads of medical syringes now. Okay, I'm guessing they're gonna start rocketing now. Yeah, they're just flamethrowering all my walls. They're not actually raiding me. Get wrecked. See you later. That's his name. 
Thanks for the Tommy. All right. I grabbed their ladders. They didn't, they weren't raiding me. They just came to uh, grief me, I suppose, or seems a little weird. Shotgun trap to the rescue. Now I need to put a new gate down. Thank you, man. <laughs> My Russian neighbor who I've never spoke to. <laughs> Okay, I've patched up the compound. I've put a new new, new uh, gate and a new wall. Hopefully those guys don't come back and destroy my uh, my new gate. I should have used stone walls instead. I need to stop that from happening again. I need to make it a little bit harder for people to infiltrate my compound and door camp me or do whatever they want to do. And uh, I've got an idea. Now, my plan is to create some kind of auto turret defense mechanism. I'm not going to explain fully how this is going to work at this moment in time. You guys will get to see in just a moment. I need high quad to craft some auto turrets. So I'm going to head down under the tunnels and do a little bit of tunnel farming to get some high quad. Somebody's down here. In the tunnels right now. He's got a bow, whoever it is, I can hear them farming. Killed him. Okay, not bad. He had a little bit of loot, nothing incredible. And his friend had a little bit of loot as well. Well, we're going to start making our way down the tunnels now. I need high qual and things that recycle for high qual. Now, I'm going to cut to the chase here. As you guys know, it's a simple tunnel run. I went down the tunnels and I killed all of the monsters. And I got loads of high qual and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, let's get to the cool stuff. I got back to my base and I built the auto turret defense mechanism. You're about to see exactly what that is right now. Oh, made it. My plan is slowly becoming a reality. All right, everybody, uh, I've just built this base here um, and I put my camera on to show you guys something. So check this out. This is the coolest thing ever. My base is right here. Okay, you can see it. There's my base. And I've built this base right here, which is just in front of my base. And the idea is that if anybody comes here and tries to raid me or tries to freaking flame throw my walls down like they did earlier, then all I need to do is check this out on my phone. As soon as I press this button, watch on the screen, check this out. That is so cool. Look at that. And then watch. <laughs> that is awesome. So yeah, basically I've, I've connected it to my phone. And yet yeah, once again, if I press that, it opens the door. And the auto turret is there. Okay, it opens both doors as you can see. And uh, hopefully if somebody stood right here, bam, 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 they'll get shot. Obviously, I'm going to close it now with my phone. If that's not sick, honestly, that's freaking awesome. Oh, there's somebody outside. I'm going to open the turret. You're dead. Oh, it's the guy. It's the guy. He was naked this time. It's the guy that came earlier with his freaking flamey. Oh, well, now he knows I've got a turret. <laughs> I'm really scared that he lives in this base. That freaking lynch guy that we just killed. I want this guy to kill me, actually. That was so good. <laughs> he thought he had me. And then I gave him that good old move right there. How much loot did he have? Oh, not bad. Thanks, dude. I'm sorry, man. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So are you the kid that I just... All I want to 
Oh. Now, I'd like to introduce you to this man right here. His name is You Missed. And believe it or not, this man right here is going to be very pivotal in helping me find somebody I've been looking for for most of today's video. I'm not going to say much else. I'm about to befriend him for the first time right now. Also, man, the only reason I came back with the Yoka is because I was farming and I killed some naked. Let it let your uh, python kill me, and uh, I lost like a ton of farm. Oh, you like the python? You like the little trap we got here? i am be honest, not really. All right, I'm gonna get you what you need. Give me one moment, please. Have you been online all day? Uh, yeah, I've, I've been online for a long time now. Yeah, uh, that's. I've been around here like so much, but then like, I don't know, it's just weird to see you come out. Cause I've seen your base like 70 times. Whereabouts do you Thank live? Thank you bro, I appreciate you. Uh, over by, over by, over by the, X. The, the river over there. All right. Yeah, that uh, direction. Well, are you playing solo today or you got some friends coming on? I'm, I'm solo, man. All right, you're in the team now. This is a bunch of friendly people I saw on the island. So uh, if you need help, Tap in the team chat, all right? Very good. Okay, man. All right, thank you. All right, so we've added another alliance to the team. You missed seems like a cool guy. A bit of an Ioka grub, but, you know, he seems all right to me. So he's fine, fine with him. He can be on the team and everything like that. We'll be catching up with him later on. Right now, though, I want to do another raid. And I'm still on the lookout for Mr. Fruit Ninja. I'm still suspicious that maybe he lives in a base close to the lighthouse. So I checked around the area and scouted around a bit to find my next raid target. I want to raid this base here. It's been here for a while, so I want to check it out. It's mostly wooden doors around in here, so I'm just going to bring a little bit of... I'm going to bring my flamethrower and uh, and go for it, but I'm going to bring a little bit of explosive ammo to get through the first door because there's water, so it's a lot harder to use the fire. All right, I've got my explosive ammo, and I've got my low grade. Start with the explode ammo to get through the door, and then we'll switch to the flamethrower after that. Let's go. Okay, there's a sheet metal door right there. And then there's more wooden doors over here. Let's get through this wooden door. Um, I might actually bring more explore ammo if we need to, to get through sheet metal doors. Okay, there's a player right there with a compound bow. What's his name? His name is Super Mario. Hello, Super Mario. This is a boat base. Right then, let me grab some explore ammo and then we'll head straight back. Now, just as I was about to grab more explosive ammo and go back to the raid, my new alliance, You Missed, died. So I decided to put all of my raid stuff away for a moment and just go and check what was happening to see if I could help him out a little bit. Oh, you didn't drop any bullets. I ran out of bullets. I'm sorry. Oh. Well, look who we've got here. If it isn't the main man himself, Mr. Fruit Ninja. Ah, it's nice to see him again. It really is. I just want to let you know that we're going to raid you today. <laughs> now let's figure out where the frickin' Ellie lives. No. Oh. I recognize oh, no. this is Fruit Ninja. Oh, no, hey, I'm a naked. Away. I'm a naked. Why are you killing me? Oh, no. Is he part of the clan? Yep. Oh, Max. Need help, bro? Yo, take the rest of this guy's loot. I killed them both for you. This guy's got crossy. What did you lose? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy, this guy, this guy took all my shit. <laughs> or I went. He took my, uh, Revy. All right, one of them's called Fruit Ninja. He was the guy, he was threatening to raid me. If you find out where he lives, tell me, okay? Fruit Ninja, Fruit Ninja. I, I think, I don't know, he's he's trying to team with this guy in this, in this stone base over here. Um, so the guy, so there's somebody living in that stone base right now. Yeah, there is. He, uh, that has he, that you took from him. Uh, he, he like killed me. They both, uh, I was like running over to uh, this other guy I killed and I died over there. 
to Fruit Ninja and I was running over there and they were both here and they both I got jumped by them basically. Alright, sweet. I might I maybe I'll raid them. So it doesn't look like Fruit Ninja lives in this base. According to you missed, Fruit Ninja is friendly with whoever lives in this base. So even though Fruit Ninja might not live in this base, any friend of Fruit Ninja is an enemy of mine. This base is being added to my raid target list. Anyway, we've got a raid to finish. I grabbed some explosive ammo and I headed over to the base to finish what I started. There's a massive fight going on at the lighthouse, I think. I'm going to wait for these shots to stop happening before I continue my raid. Ah, screw it. Let's just do our raid. We're in. TC is unlocked. Place door down. Locks on. Boom. We're safe. The guy that lives here is called Vitality. Let's see what's inside the TC. Oh, 34 high qual. I'm already happy with that. Okay, first box. We got kind of okay stuff in there. We got an extra solar panel there, which I'll probably use actually for my freaking auto turret base because it runs out of power too easily. In this box down here, we've got general stuff. Over a thousand cloth, uh, quite a bit of low grade and 270 scrap. I'm happy with this. All right, let me put a lock on the, let me put a door and a lock down. We'll take the extra furnaces. We'll take the extra tier one workbench and sell it. Or I might give it to you missed my new ally. Um, but yeah, Happy with this raid. Oh, there's another tier one workbench there. So we'll have two to sell. Not that I don't I don't think they'll log in, but just in case, because I need to go for a pee. So I'm going to chill in this base for a bit. Yo, Maximus, I was talking to them and they were, I don't know, they weren't the nicest people, that's for sure. They, uh, they said that if they wanted to, they could pummel your base. Maximus. Oh, wait, wait. I was away from my computer. Hey. How you doing? Uh, so... I ran into them again, I was talking to them, and they said that they, if they wanted to, they'd pummel your base. <laughs> they, uh... Oh. Um, do you need anything in particular, like any components? Because I just did this raid. Oh, yeah. Here, take this. Do you need a tier one workbench? Oh, no. Nah, uh, I'm actually, I, I have a pretty good base. I have tier two. Oh, really? I'm, uh, I'm kind of friend locked. I only have, like, three guns, but... Okay. Yeah, Hi. no, that's, that's good. Hi. Oh, you do live here. In case you're wondering what's going on right now, the guys that I just killed have just found you missed. And I think they might think that he lives in this base that I just raided. Hey, hey, Azzy, you want to give me a boost, man? Now, I stored away the loot that I'd gotten from this raid because I wanted to quickly try and fight these guys. There's two of them and there's one of me. Unfortunately, I got wrecked, as you just saw. I didn't lose much except for a Tommy, though. But, um, obviously, I'd stored away all the loot from the raid, so that was great. A few minutes later, I got back to the base. Those two guys had left the area, Fruit Ninja and his friend. So I wanted to make a quick dash of all the raid loot and get it back to my base. But right as I left the door to leave, I died by one of the dudes that lived next to the base that I raided. No idea who he is. Now, he was inside his base when he killed me. And because I was naked, I think he assumed I probably had no loot. I rushed back out of my base to see if I could retrieve my loot. And I ran into you, Mist. He'd grabbed all the loot for me and made a dash back to my base to give it me. What a legend. Wait, I have a load of <laughs> on my body. I need to see if I can get it, mate. Maximus, I got, the, I got, I got it. Maximus, got you got it. all the to my body? Yeah, be quiet. There's a, there's a two guy, one there. And then... Come this way, come this way. All right. Oh my god, you're an MVP, man. Like, I need that high qual. Do you need anything from this? Hey, take the low grade to uh to, to flame raid or whatever you want to do. Oh, I think actually, yeah, I do need low grade. Thank you. Uh, also take like 500 metal. Um, take take all the scrap because I have like 3k. Sweet. Oh, okay. Thank you, thank you. I actually need scrap. So. All right, get back to. All right, are you gonna go back to your base I or? I did. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go back to my base. I did. Thank you. Okay. I think it's about time I headed to bed. And so concludes day number four. I know that my plan for this day was to do a rocket raid, but I got caught up with other things, so we'll do that tomorrow. Bring on day number five. This is the day where we'll actually rocket raid, though. And speaking of raids... Literally right here.
These guys have rockets for days. Oh, sorry, man. You just got wrecked by those guys. Patch up your base, mate. It happens. I tried to save you, but I couldn't. Get your base patched up, man. Spasiva. All right, well, it's time to do my raid, so I'm not going to beat around the bush here. I'm going to prepare for that now. Hello. Hey, I'm sorry about your base, man. Oh, he logged out. Okay, I'm going to start by taking a clip of Explore Ammo. Oh, he dropped all this loot. He logged out and dropped all this loot for me. Oh, he's quit. He's quitting the server. And he's giving me... He's just giving me all this loot. Oh, man. I'm sorry. I'd like to dedicate a small moment of this video to... I don't know how to pronounce his name. And I've never heard his voice. But to this man right here. It was an honor living beside you. It was an honor sharing the island with you. And I wish you all the best in your future Rust endeavors. Now let's crack on with our raid. All right, I've got a few choices of bases to raid. I could raid this base right here, okay? I, um, I saw them building this base. I don't know if it's a furnace base, though. You know, it could easily be a furnace base, that. Or I could raid this base, which is literally the base that I saw them come out of that one time. This is the one that... This is the base that I'm going for, to be honest. Yeah, okay, let's raid this one. Okay, we're inside. Let's keep going. And there's another door after that. Okay, we, we need to go back to base and get more stuff. Okay, I'm ready to go. I've got my rocket launcher. And I've got some explosive ammo. I've got two rifles. My first solo rocket raid in a long time. YOLO. Okay, we've got a tier 3 workbench. Good sign. Nice. through. I should have brought ladders with me. I don't know why I didn't. I'm gonna go back to base and grab ladders to be on the safe side. We have to be super careful for like traps and things like that. Okay, there's a door. Let's try and shoot through it. Nah, that's gonna be hard. It's all open in here. Oh, look at all this loot. Woo! Boom, the bags are destroyed. Look at all those hazmats they've got. Decent components, decent stuff. I remember when I killed two of these guys and then freaking died. And now I'm in your base, boys. After completing the raid, I waited inside the base while it was nighttime. And then when it got to morning time, I began to swim home. But whilst swimming back to my base, I noticed something very strange. Oh my god. I spotted about four or five fully kitted out players running from the direction of my base. Have I been raided? Why is there a massive clan that's just ran from my base? Well, from the looks of it, these clan guys destroyed my gate with the intention to raid me. But once they actually looked at my base and scouted it out, they must have changed their mind and decided to raid somebody else. Guess who they decided to raid? Oh my god, that clan was totally going to raid me in there. What? Oh, they raided that base. Look, they raided... Oh my god, that's not even the main base. These clan guys are raiding the wrong base. They're only gonna fight this gun and there's literally nothing in there. I just raided their main base. This is just the secondary base 
to the guys I raided. So they're not going to get anything from there. Now, I found out later on that Fruit Ninja was actually part of the clan, the massive clan that lives on the island. But he was a lower ranking member. He didn't really have much authority within the clan. He never left the base with uh, decent guns or a gear set or anything. And so it's just quite funny that the clan scouted out my base and decided not to raid me. Anyway, there's one more thing left for us to do before we're finished on this server. Now, I'm just a little solo player, so I can't raid the clan guys. Their base is gigantic. But one thing I can do is I can raid Fruit Ninja's friend. This little base that we saw yesterday. Now, since then, it's been upgraded quite a bit. So we're going to have to use explosives to raid this dude. I may not be able to raid a massive clan, but at least I can show Fruit Ninja some kind of karma. Hey, naked man. Hey, do you want some free loot? Coming out now. Hello. Come inside a second. Okay, hang on. All right, take this, mate. Good luck. Build a base. Okay, I'm going to raid this base for my friend. This is for you. You missed. TC is pretty loaded. 1,000 scrap and 1,400 gunpowder and over 100 high qual. This is for you, you missed. What? This guy just spawned in. He grabbed the Tommy. I'm going to ask that new newbie. Well, I'm going to ask the guy I just allied with if he can come to the base and check I'm not being camped. Oh, you're stupid. I'm gonna unlock this, let you take the base. It's yours. Made it back. We freaking raided the guy making moves on this island now. And that concludes today's video. I must say I really enjoyed this one. We met some really cool players. Of course, there's the Russian. I never actually heard his voice, but I feel like we created a bond, even though I'd never actually spoke to him properly. Then of course there was you missed as well. Blizzard and L came in for a little bit to help me with a raid. It's just, it, it's been an absolute blast. If you've enjoyed today's video, everybody, you know the drill, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already. I just want to quickly just say that like thank you so much i just reached 500,000 subscribers about a week ago um i've some of my videos have been reaching a million views lately which is unbelievable it's just apps i can't i don't even know what to say really it's just surreal so everyone that's been messaging me over the past few weeks asking where the videos are i'm really sorry that it's took so long to get this video out all i want to do is make good freaking videos and so hopefully this video was good I'm sure I'll find out soon when I read the comments and stuff, but I'll be doing some live streaming soon So check me out the links to that will be down below. Of course check out my friend Blizzard and L They both live stream as well. And yeah, all right ladies everyone